We're going to do some get fit. I have two bands out, a lighter band, a heavier band. We start with the march. Here's your march. So it is a band day, which means I have shoes on. I just prefer standing on the band with shoes. Right here, take your out, out, in, in. Take it out, out, in, in, in. Out, out, in, in, in. Let's go ahead. March wide and stay wide. Keep your wide march. Take it out a little wider. We're going right into side lunges here. You can stop your feet and slide side to side. We're going to go right into some movement through your hips, your inner thighs. You might want to keep up a little smaller because we're just starting out. There's your slide side to side. One more time each direction. Bring yourself to the center and take your feet in a little bit closer so you can take some little squats. Here comes your squats down and up. Now they can be big or small. Just remember we're using it for our warm up. You are going to see wall squats a little bit later. This time stay low, plant your hands on your thighs, cow cat. We're gonna warm up the spine, get the movement all the way through the back. This time you can roll yourself all the way up. Get your shoulders back and down, roll it back. Here comes your tap and reach, right side, tap and reach. There's your lengthen. Now we're using this to warm up the side of the body. You can point your toe, add your reach. Arm is going to sweep across the front. Open up the upper back. It is your step touch together. Take a little step touch together, side to side, open it up. Heel front and push front. Here's your little heel and push. Pull the toes up so you can start warming up the back of the leg, the calf. Now we keep the right heel to the front, sit back. Hamstring stretch, tap the foot down and up. There's the tap. Foot goes out and in. Stop the foot, shift the weight forward. Here comes your reach up, pull down. You're gonna reach all the way up, pull it down. Reach up, pull down. There's your up and down, up and down. This time, the back knee is going to come in, open up the upper back, give yourself a nice stretch here. Sink down just enough to feel the stretch through the quadricep, the hip. Drop the arms, back leg comes forward, hamstring stretch on the other side. Hips down, tap the foot, down and up. Foot goes out and in. Stop the foot, shift the weight forward. Here comes that reach up, pull down. You're taking it up, you're bringing it down. There's your up and down, up and down. Three, two. Now this time the back knee comes in. Take your arms behind, open up the chest. There's the stretch for the front side. Drop the arms, bring yourself up, return to your march. Take your little march right here. It is your step touch side to side. Here is your side to side. Hamstring curl, let's pull the heel back. Take a nice curl back here. Stand up tall, squeeze the glutes. Knee up, pull down here. It's a knee up and a pull. Stand nice and tall. Breathe. 
Bring yourself back to your march. Here comes your march. You're gonna march it out right here. Little march on your toes, warming up this way. Bring your heels down, march on your heels, lift your toes, squeeze your glutes. Return back to your regular march here. Shake it out. If you wanna grab a sip of water, today our first move, we're gonna do rows, sitting on our chair, pulling back. So right here, we're gonna start. Band around the bottom of your feet. If you wanna wrap them around your feet, go for it. Classic row, we're gonna do it sitting though, and there's your pullback. So today, each move, 45 seconds, 15 seconds to transition. Elbows slide back, release it. Elbows slide back, release. There's your back and forth. Elbows slide towards your hips. You can have your palms in. Engage the core so your torsos support it. One more time. And then you're going to take a break. And we're going to take a plank next. So our two moves are going to be our row and a plank. So I'm going to just flip over and do my plank on my chair. But if you want to go to the floor, go for it. Set yourself up in your plank. And if you want to take a little tap of the knee forward, you can tap the knee forward. Think little extra movement. Now use this, warm everything up. Press into your hands so you're lifting up through your chest and the back of your shoulders. Our hips stay nice and level as you pull the knee forward. Think of that knee pull forward as core work. Four, three, two, have a seat. And we come back to our pull. We're gonna come back to our row. When you're ready, feet, take the band around the feet. I like to cross my band, that just keeps it more secure. Sit up tall, elbows pull back, and then you release. Elbows pull back, and release. Think of your squeeze between your shoulder blades. more seconds here. One more time, and then we return to our plank. Again, if you want to drive the knee forward, go for it. If you don't, no worries. Set yourself up where it works for you. Long straight line, and then when you're ready, there's your, maybe the tap of your toe, maybe the drive of the knee. Maybe you drive the knee to the outside of your elbow. And you take it at a pace that works for you. When we finish this, we move on to our next two moves. Five, four, three, two. Bring yourself up. Shake it out. Next move, we're going to do some deadlifts. I am going to use my band. You don't have to if you don't want to. And push ups. Those are the two moves that are coming up next. I'm gonna be standing on my band. Remember shoulders back and down, and then you slide down and up. Same, same rules as you do 
With or without weights, knees are soft. It's a hinge, meaning you push your hips back and then squeeze them up. Use the back of your thighs. And we always keep a little pinch between our shoulder blades to keep your chest open. And it helps to keep a straight spine, that little pinch between the shoulder blades. Is we want to keep a straight spine. There's your last one. You can release your band. Push-ups are our next move. I'm doing the push-ups on the wall today. If you want to take them to your chair, a bench, wherever it works for you. Just like a plank, make sure your hands are in line with your chest. Shoulder blades down. And there comes your up and down for your push-ups. I use the push-ups for chest strengthening, but if you're doing really good quality push-ups, you're gonna feel your core. You'll have your little squeeze of your glutes. Take a couple more. Finish this one. Bring yourself up. And we go back to our deadlifts one more time. And again, I'm using my band. Get your shoulder blades back and down, soft in the knees. Here we go. Hinge and bring it up. There's your down. Even though it does use our low back, that is not the focus. I really want you to focus on using your hamstrings and glutes as you hinge and bring your band up. There's your down and up. Couple more. Let's do one more here. And we go back to our push-ups one more time. Set your band to the side. Take your push-ups where you want. I'm staying on the wall. I like the version. Feel like it gives me a good chance to focus on form. There comes your down and up. Use your exhale when you're doing the most effort. Once you finish this, we will be moving on to our next set of exercises. One more push up. Then you can bring yourself up. Shake it out. I'm going to grab a sip of water. We have wall squats next. I'll be sitting on the wall. We're gonna be doing some side steps, and then a little bit of cardio with some quick feet. Set yourself up for your wall squat. Maybe you stay up a little bit higher, maybe you slide down. I do want you to think about having the sacrum against the wall, shoulders back. Maybe you take your arms out to the front and then you can check, did you keep your upper back in place as you hold it here? 15 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two. Arms can come down, bring yourself up. Shake it out. We're going to take this into a little sidestep with our band. I'm going to grab my lighter band. I just prefer how it feels with a lighter band. You can pick whatever size works for you. And again, I cross the band. When you're ready, it's a little step to one side, together, step, together. 
So now we're working both legs. Make sure you're using your outer hips to step and stabilize. We're still standing tall, so your shoulders are up and back. There's your step together, step together. Couple more. Finish this one. You can set your band down. We are going to go into some quick feet. Meaning you're gonna take your feet out and we're gonna do a little out, out, in, in. Quick if you can. There's your out, out. We hang out here 45 seconds, a little cardio. So maybe you sink a little lower, maybe not. And there's your out, out, in, in. You can take it slower. You can take it quicker and smaller. It's a little out, out. Fifteen seconds to go. Five, four, three, two. Release it here, and we're going to take it right into some punches. Take it across. So we'll be here a little bit longer just because I didn't give you a break. There's your punch and punch. Take that punch to the front. So punch right to the front. We're taking this into an uppercut. You're gonna take it up, a little up and up, up and up. It's so moving our arms in a couple different directions. Here comes your hook. So you're gonna take it up with hook and hook. Couple more. Here's your speed bag. Bring it up at a low speed bag. I'm gonna take you into a little march. There's your speed bag. Taking it up. You're gonna drop your arms down and set yourself up for your quick feet, but start with the left foot. So you're gonna go left, right, left, right. Out, 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 out. And then you're gonna pick your pace. So I just switch which leg you lead with. It's, uh, it often feels different, even though the movement's the same. You're leading with the opposite. Then if you wanna pop your arms, add a little more full body movement. Ten seconds to go here. Three, two, go ahead, shake it out right here, and it's good back to your punches. So take it right back to some punches. Take it across. Remember to move through your hips. Release the back heel. Punch to the front, front and front. Here's your uppercut. Take it up and up. Up and up. Hook. Here's your hook. Finish with a speed bag. Speed bag here. Little bit of speed bag. Three, two, relax your arms. And we get to go back into our wall squat. Get yourself set up for your second round. 45 seconds. And again, arms can go to the front. If you open your arms up to goal post, pay attention to what happens with your back. If you start arching your back, you want to zip the core and keep it engaged here. 
20 seconds to go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Go ahead and bring yourself up. We have our side step one more time. I really like to get the side to side movement in there. Standing on your band. You can cross the band. And then when you're ready, we'll step to one side together, step together, step together, step together. Out, bring it in, out, bring it in. We have about 10 seconds to go here. We are going to keep focusing on the lower body when we finish this one. There's your last step. You can set your band down. And yes, we are going to do some runner lunges. You can set your band down, grab a sip of water if you want it. Let's start with the right leg to the front. Add your tap. Maybe it's a drive of the knee. So think of it, single-legged squat. Use your core, drive your knee forward. Keep it going here. Strong leg. 10 seconds to go on this side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake the leg out, you get your 15 second break. Give the leg a break. We'll get ready to take it to the other side. Setting up the other side, little squat, and here we go. It could be a tap because the tap feels better today. It could be a drive of the knee forward. Maybe you switch it up. You can pump the arms. Now this does take a lot of leg strength because we're holding it here. It takes core strength because we're in this little hinged forward. You wanna engage the core as you pump the knee forward. 15 seconds. We're almost there. Five, four, three, two. Go ahead, release it here, shake it out. We're gonna take it right into a little hamstring. So I'm gonna switch. You're pulling the knee forward right here. Pull back, open up the hip. Give yourself a nice break for the front of the thigh. This will be our move. I am making one change in four, three. Make it a double on each side. It's twice up. There's your little double and your double. So you have a little bit of balance. Pull the heel up. Couple more times. Finish this one and then go ahead. Shake it out. If you want a sip of water, grab a sip of water. Biceps and triceps are next. I will be using a lighter band. We're going to do one arm at a time. So first, bicep. It's a curl when you're ready. I always said the hardest part, getting the length of your band just right. We're doing just the right arm first. There's your up, slow it down, up and down.
Oh, we have about 10 more seconds here. As you pull, release, take one more, and then you can relax this side. Shake it out. We're gonna set ourselves up on the other side. So again, finding the right distance, the right length for your band is probably the hardest part. And then once you are there, add your curls up and down. So think elbow right next to your waistline. And there's your pull, release, pull, release. There's your up and down, up and down. One more curl, bring it up, and tricep dips are next. I'll be doing the tricep dip on the chair. If tricep dips aren't working for you because of your shoulders or your wrist, Feel free to use your band and do some press downs or some overhead. If you're going to join me, we're setting ourselves up on our chair. You're gonna have your hips nearby and there's that little slide down and up. So I always like to say, you know, start a little smaller, get a feel for it. Make sure you're using your triceps. So that's different than pushing through your legs, your feet. You're letting your arms do all the work as you slide down and bring it up, down and up. Pick your pace, pick the distance you go down. It will be different for all of us. And remember, use your triceps to get yourself up versus your elbow joint. We don't wanna lock out our elbows. There's your last one. Bring yourself up, shake your arms out. We are gonna do a little tap back with front raises. Little chance, loosen up the arms. We are going to repeat the biceps and triceps one more time. But I'm taking you here. Let the arms loosen up. Do a little tap back, tap back. We stay here for our, we have about 30 seconds to go here. So wherever it is comfortable for you to lift your arms, that's where they go. And it's five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. We do have our biceps one more time. I'm gonna stick with the band. You're going to Figure out the distance that works best for you with your band. And then when you're ready, add your curl and bring it down. Curl, bring it down. And just make adjustments with the length of it. If you need more resistance, make it shorter. If you're struggling, make it a little longer. It's your up, control down. Up, control down, up, and down. Couple more, bring it up, slow it down. We'll do one more here. Full up, control down, and then you can take your 15 second break, shake your arm out, we have to take it over to the other side. However, you set yourself up and then kind of check to see the distance that you need. And then when you're ready, there's your up and down, up and down. Thirty more seconds with your curl. going. Mm 
One more time, bring it up and down. We do have one more set of tricep dips. You're gonna pick what works for you for your tricep dips. If you wanna pick a different tricep exercise, go for it. Otherwise, you're gonna join me. Maybe you do this on the floor. I'm on the chair. When you're ready, 45 seconds, you slide down, you press up. You slide down, you press up. Keep going here. Remember, it's all tricep. Elbows a little soft at the top. When you press up, that's pressing up with the back of the arm, different than lifting with your legs or your hips. One more dip, take one more, and then go ahead, bring yourself all the way up. Shake your arms out. I'm gonna end by doing our wall squat and a couple of the other exercises one more time. We're gonna start, set yourself up on your wall. So we're gonna get one last little burn for the bike, for the, quadriceps, your thighs here. Set yourself up. If you want your arms up, go for it. I'm gonna keep mine down this time. Think head back level, meaning the chin is level. Shoulders back. Zip up the core. your rib cage drop down if it likes to pop out. We're almost there. It's five, four, three, two. Bring yourself up. Shake it out right here. We're going to go right into push-ups. Again, I'm keeping my push-ups on the wall. You choose where you want to take yours. And then when you're ready, you can slide down and up for your push-up. Think shoulder blades back, and, or, and once they're down, so as you move, pull your shoulder blades, your lats down your back. Keep them there, and you'll connect with your core a little bit more. Keep it going. One more push up. When you finish that one, you can keep yourself up. Next, we're going to come back into our deadlift, which means I am going to grab my band. We'll be standing on the band. And again, I like to cross my band in front but you're gonna pick what works for you. And then you have your hinge and you bring it up. Now remember, shoulders down, zip the core, move through the hips. We don't really care how low we go, it's really about long, straight spine. And then right there, Contract your hamstrings, your glutes to get yourself up. There's your down and your up. We have a couple more. Now on the next one, I'm gonna add right on here. You're gonna stay low and add some rows. You're gonna pull up, release down. Pull up, release down. There's your up. And down. We have three, two, stand up tall, go back down and row again. Here comes your down, and there's your pull, release, pull, release, pull, release. Three, two, Stand tall, go back down, row one more time. Here comes your rows. There's your pull, 
two more rows. There's one, two, bring yourself up. And then you can go ahead, release the band. We're gonna go back into our plank one more time. You can drive your knee forward. And then we'll start stretching everything up. Set yourself up in your plank, wherever that is. Maybe you tap the toe. Maybe you drive the knee forward. You can always take the knee to the outside of your elbow. Bigger movement. Just remember, squeeze the glutes, get the core engaged. It's all about form here. 20 seconds. Here's your countdown. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring yourself up. I'm gonna have a start stretching on the chair. If you wanna have a seat real quick, we're gonna start with our figure four on the chair and then we'll move on from there. Figure four can be high or low. Add a little hinge forward. Now you're picking where the stretch works best for you. If you don't want to lean forward, if you need the bottom leg straight, you just change it up. Bring yourself up and here comes the other side. So you can always have the bottom leg a little straighter and that's gonna change it a little bit. I have it different on each side because each hip is different. You can start bringing yourself all the way up. We're gonna stand up. Now I'm gonna use the chair today for my hamstring stretch, completely up to you if you wanna use it or not. Meaning I'm gonna set my foot on the chair and pull my hips back. You may or may not decide to do that. There's a stretch for the back of the thigh. Bring yourself up. Switch sides. Take the other leg up. And if you don't feel a stretch in your hamstring, make sure you're pulling your hip back. Start bringing yourself all the way up right here. We're going right into a calf stretch. You can take the right foot to the front, left foot's gonna be back. You're gonna push the heel down into the floor as you stretch the lower leg here. Bring yourself up, switch. Here comes the other side. Bring yourself up. We're going to take the right leg behind the left. Now we did do the side steps. See if you can get a nice stretch on the side of the body, including the hips and the outer thigh as you reach over. Bring it to center, drop your arms down. Here comes the other side. Up and over. Bring it back to center. Right here, quadricep stretch. So if you wanna hold on to something so you can focus on the stretch of the quadricep, go for it. Soften the standing leg. Really think about getting a long stretch down the front of your thigh. Relax this side, take it to the other side. Relax this side right here. Take a nice big shoulder roll. We're gonna open our arms up. Now drop your thumbs down and then reach back. Try to get a stretch for your biceps as you reach your hands back. Lift your chest to open up here. Arms open up to the side. Hug a big ball, open between your shoulder blades. 
Sweep your arms up, flip your palms towards the ceiling. Release your fingertips, right hand drop, stretch out the tricep. We did our tricep dips, get a nice stretch here. Fingertips go up, drop the left hand, tricep stretch. Fingertips go up, arms come down, take a big shoulder roll. Here comes your inhale, take a big inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, blow it out. Do that two more times, big inhale, reach up. Exhale, blow it out. And one more time. Here's your inhale and your exhale. And thank you all very much. <laughs>